Hi everybody and welcome. Today we're going to look at conversion graphs. Now, there are unfortunately a number of situations where we are able to measure things using different scales. Temperature is a good example. Sometimes we use degrees Celsius and other times degrees Fahrenheit. Now, in an exam or test, we are often asked to make a conversion from one of those scales to the other. And that is where a conversion graph comes in. So let's have a look at one. I think the best way to start is to simply have a look at a conversion chart and how it works. So this one is converting miles per hour to kilometers per hour because of course depending on what country you're in you might want to measure your speed either in miles per hour or in kilometers per hour and it might be useful sometimes to be able to convert between the two and the whole key to this is the green line going through at the center here the way we use this graph well let's do an example let us say we are currently traveling maybe in europe and we are traveling at 80 kilometers per hour so to use this graph we simply take a line up from 80 as far as the green line that we have there that is the conversion line there and we then read straight across to the miles per hour line and it is important when you are actually answering a question like this that you keep your lines as accurate as you possibly can now that we've done that we can see that 80 kilometers per hour is exactly the same speed as 50 miles per hour. It is fair to say that sometimes it doesn't convert quite as accurately. Let's say we're looking at 50 kilometers per hour. We go up to the line here and then we take our line across as carefully as we can. Because the scale is only small, we have to say that 50 kilometers an hour is somewhere around 31, maybe 32 miles an hour there. And the useful thing is we can do conversions in both directions. Let us say, for instance, we are traveling at 70 miles an hour and interested in what that would convert to in kilometers. Well, again, we go across, we go down, and we discover that 70 miles an hour is just over 110 kilometers per hour. And it's as simple as that. A conversion graph will always have two scales for whatever it is you're converting. It will have a line up the middle, which has allows us to do the conversion and we simply read from one scale to the line and cross to the other scale or across from one scale and down. And that will convert miles per hour in this case to kilometers. And in fact, this particular graph, the one that converts speeds, can actually be changed so that it reads slightly differently. If I get rid of kilometers per hour and instead I simply write kilometers, I no longer have speed, I have distance. And similarly, if I get rid of miles per hour and just write in there miles, now I no longer have a graph that is converting speeds. It is converting the actual distances themselves. So that if we now look at the graph, we can see that 50 kilometers is the same as just over 30 miles. And similarly, 70 miles is just over 110 kilometers. So the same graph can either be used to convert the distances or the speeds. Let's just have a look at another couple of categories that you might find in an exam. They quite often look at graphs that convert temperature because we have the two temperature scales. We either measure things in Celsius or Fahrenheit. Speed I've already mentioned. And also weight, you sometimes see recipes are in pounds sometimes they're in kilograms so converting between the two is done exactly the same way we do also see graphs sometimes that convert currencies maybe pounds to euros we have to be a little bit careful there because the rate of exchange does vary from day to day so you cannot use the same graph every day whereas all the ones we've looked at in this session are all fixed conversion rates so once you have the graph, it is good every day. 
and that's all there is to it. Quite often in a test, the actual chart is drawn out for you with the conversion line, and all you are asked to do is drawing your lines from one scale to the other to make the conversion. Keep your lines nice and accurate and you'll be fine. If you've enjoyed that and you want to see some of my other videos, please hit the subscribe button and uh, I've put a video at the side there that you might find useful. And if you hit the notifications button as well, you'll get to hear of any new ones that I put online. Thank you.